but let's strengthen and generalize the notion of an augmenting path. Now, in this case, all the edges in this path are uniformly directed away from the source and towards the sink. Now, this edge is forced. All the edges oh, incident with the source are away. This edge is forced. But I want to think about a different kind of notion. I'm going to have a network, and I'm going to find a path from source to sink. Now that edge is directed that way, and that edge is directed that way, but all the other edges can go any way you want them to. For, from S2T or backwards. So this edge might be directed this way, and so is this one. This one might be directed that way, so is this one. So I'm just putting random, random arrowheads on these. Any collection of directions whatsoever. Now, I'm thinking I want to change values along this path only. So I'm going to change the value on this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this, all, just these edges. I'm going to make no changes off. But I want my conservation laws to hold. And I want the value to go up. So I'm going to increase the flow on this edge. That's going to be plus. What will I want to do on that edge? I want to decrease it. Why? To keep the conservation law valid right there. See, if I increase this, I've increased the amount in. This edge also points in. It change, I'm changing the amount in. So if I raise the amount in on one edge, I have to offset that by decreasing it elsewhere. All right, what about this one? Well, do I want to increase the amount or decrease the amount? Decrease. Why? I need the conservation law to hold right there. I've decreased the amount out. I have to decrease the amount in. All right, on this, on this edge, that's not a minus one. On this edge, am I going to increase or decrease on that edge? Increase. Again, just to satisfy the conservation law there. What am I going to do here? Decrease. Increase. Decrease. Decrease. Increase. Increase. Decrease. Increase. Okay, now I didn't tell you how much. Whatever the amount is, it's got to be the same in order for the obvious conservation law. So we're going to take five units, ship more, increase by five, decrease by five, decrease by five, increase by five, decrease by five, increase, etc. You're going to flip-flop back and forth a certain amount. Now, what amount? And what do I need? What conditions do I need? So as I'm walking on this path, some of the edges are walked on in the forward direction. What condition do I need for them?
they can't be full. Because I'm going to increase. If they're full, I can't increase. What condition do I need on the backward edges? They can't be empty. So an augmenting path is just a path with this additional property. The forward edges are not full, and the backwards edges are not empty. Anytime you can find an augmenting path, you can improve the flow. Now, how do you get the value? What change do you make? You look at the forward edges, and you look at the spare capacity, and you take the minimum of it. You look at the backwards edges, and you see how much flow they have on them. And you take the minimum. Then you take the minimum of the first, and the minimum of the second, and you take the minimum. That's the amount. If you try to do any more, you will exceed the capacity of a forward edge, or you will turn the flow on a backwards edge to negative. Okay.